Ground noise is a common problem in audio systems. How does it happen? As we can see from the following circuit, there will be several signal loops and ground loops formed in the audio system when using single-ended input. Since the audio signal is changing, the current will change as a result. In addition, there will be different current from different loops going through one ground wire, and all of them are changing with time. According to voltage equals current multiplied by resistance, the voltage will always be changing too, and sometimes there will be a sharp voltage rise and fall. As we mentioned in the last video, both game machines and self-service equipment need an audio system. The ground noise is a problem which cannot be ignored. Otherwise, what you get is endless customer complaints and the resulting bad impression. Here is a diagram of the audio system used in game machines or self-service equipment. The power supply in the computer host will power the main board through cables. There will definitely be internal resistance in the cable and this can be calculated according to equation 1. Rho is the conductor resistivity. L is the length of the conductor and S is the cross-sectional area of the conductor. When the current flows through the cable, there will be a voltage drop, which will fluctuate with the signal, forming a DC signal attached with an irregular and messy AC signal. It is assumed that the length of cable used to power the CPU is 35 centimeters, and the wire gauge is AWG18, so the cross-sectional area is 0.82 millimeters squared. We suppose that the host goes from standby to a game playing situation and here we will use the running power of two cores and the PL2 power of an i7 8700K 8 core GT2 GT0 as power threshold. In practical game machine applications the power of the CPU may be much larger than this value. Power limit 3, power limit 4 and we usually use ATX 8-pin cable to power the CPU. According to equation 1, the resistance can be figured out. When the power is 25 watts, so the voltage drop is calculated as follows. When the power reaches to 118.75 watts, we can get a larger voltage drop too. Here we dismiss the conductor resistivity of copper as it will go up with the temperature which will cause bigger resistance and a larger voltage drop. So when we play games the voltage drop US1 will fluctuate sharply and irregularly which has a great effect on the whole system. To save space and cost manufacturers would use the power supply in the host to power the audio amplifier at the same time and there will also be voltage drop in this process and another DC signal attached with another irregular and messy AC signal. If the cable used here is thinner its resistance will be larger thus the voltage drop will change more sharply the AC interference attached will be more. Meanwhile Customers will use the 3.5 mm output on the main board as audio input to amplifiers. If we connect the ground of the 3.5 mm output to the ground of the amplifier, there will be potential difference and noise. By the superposition principles of circuit, the voltage of the input signal to the audio amplifier can be figured out. The amplifier will amplify the signal together with the attached AC signal. Here comes the noise. For the reason why electric potential differences cause noise, please refer to our previous video, what even a small GND potential difference can do to the output. Here is the ground noise problem. How can we solve it? Sure Electronics provides audio isolation solutions for the game machine customers, including semiconductor solutions, high-performance audio isolation transformer, and two-channel, eight-channel USB sound card 
to eliminate the ground noise in the game machines and self-service equipment applications. All of them are module form. This improves the system flexibility and expandability. Want to know how these solutions work? Want to see the actual demonstration of effect comparison? Let's get together again next video. Stay tuned.